Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do a reading for Leo. This is for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for the next seven days. So, this card just fell out. Money path. A money path is waiting for you to find it. So you haven't found it yet. You haven't found it yet. If you might hear my cats purring, they are on the table beside me. So what do we have for Leo? There is a money path that is waiting for you to find it in this next week, okay? What do we have for Leo? Let's get one more card. Oh, that's too many, that was a big pile. Ooh. Casket. Someone going out of your life or the end of a situation. So something is going out of your life or a situation is coming to an end. Mm. And on the bottom is heart. Love, deep affection and caring. So there's something to do, to do with matters of the heart, okay? So what do we have for Leo? Something going out of your life or the end of a situation. A path with money is waiting for you to find it. Matters of the heart. What do we have for Leo? Woohoo! doesn't want commitment. So there is somebody here that does not want commitment. Maybe that's something that you need to realize. You probably have new love entering your life by the looks of things. There is somebody around you that doesn't want commitment and this just flew out of the deck, okay? So this is the one that doesn't want commitment because I had started saying it. This is infatuation and obsession. So there's somebody that you are infatuated with that doesn't really want a commitment. What do we have for Leo? Oh my goodness gracious. This is only lust. So there, there's definitely somebody that you are dealing with that you, is only lust okay it's not anything but okay but you do have new love entering your life if you will allow it to enter your life so let's get one of these what do we have what do we have for Leo what do we have for Leo world upright major completion of a cycle i mean look at that card it's actually beautiful it really really is this card is an accomplishment it is a completion it's leaving the past behind moving towards the future a long-term prominent phase of your life is over like you know it was either a commitment that you were in that taught you a lesson it's over could be a job that you engaged in for a long time. It taught you a lot. It's over. This is something that was very significant in your life. It wasn't short term. It was a long term situation that has come full circle or it's come to an end. Okay. This is a major completion of a cycle. Okay. Something that affected your life. Okay. And I, I'm going to show you what's on the bottom and it is reverse. You may not like it, but lovers reverse so i'm wondering if there's some sort of separation here you know or detachment and a partnership there could be a disconnectedness you know um disharmony a separation uh incompatibility uh breakup you know something like that uh you're dealing with somebody that doesn't want commitment and there's infatuation obsess obsession and lust Okay, so that's something you need to be realistic about, okay? Mm. 
What do we what do we have for Leo? Somebody is going out of your life, some someone going out of your life or the end of a situation. The world card is the biggest completion of them all. Okay? It's a major completion of this chapter of your life. Number one, the creative, the active yang principle, strength, tenacity, dynamism, dynamism, can't say it, inspiration, heaven, masculinity, authority, father. So. No, masculine energy is action oriented. Um, it's a it's a time of strength. It's a time of inspiration. Heaven, something about heaven. Father, uh, may have something to do with a father. Some, maybe even if your father is in heaven, maybe there's some sort of protection here. Maybe maybe you're, you're being protected, so, or you know we have we have something that is going out of your life. Um, I want to say Mars energy. So I'm not sure if you're dealing with an Aries. I want to say, for some reason, when I saw that masculinity, I thought of Aries. Um, and that father would be emperor. And I don't know where it's coming from. So something to do with a father figure. Um, also, I feel like you're at a beginning. We have a one here, which is a new beginning. A, a brand new beginning. So you are starting over. We go from the 21 world to a one. So I believe that you are in the process of starting a new journey. Okay. Dynamism, dynamism, dynamism. <laughs> Inspiration, heaven, masculinity, authority, position of authority. What do we have for Leo? Ending something, ending something. Something is coming to an end. There is no doubt about it. it has to do with a masculine energy. is stuck but I'm taking it because I know I need to eight of cups we all know what eight of cups is eight of cups is goodbye knight of cups but the thing is I don't know there's an expression of feelings here following the heart following the intuition following the gut six of wands reversed no victory, no success, no progress, two of coins, going back and forth, uh, struggling to make a choice, a change is needed, somebody's been able to do this for a bit, you know, they've been able to juggle this chaos, whatever it has been, they've been able to handle it, but I think that we've reached a point where you know, it's time to say goodbye. It's time to stop playing this game. You know, juggling is a game. You may be dealing with somebody that is going back and forth or you've been going back and forth trying to maintain, trying to maintain this partnership or whatever it is. It feels like there's no victory. There's no success. It's a constant battle with the six of wands reversed. There may be some feelings involved. Maybe you have feelings for this person. You know, you, 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 you have love or something like that with the knight of cups you were hoping for a relationship with this person you were hoping it would get a, it was going to work out but it seems to be a constant battle with the six of wands reversed there's really no progress okay you could be dealing with a fire sign aries leo sagittarius we also have taurus virgo capricorn pisces cancer scorpio um i feel like it's going to be a very emotional time i feel like it's an emotional goodbye somebody is giving up six of wands reversed they have no fight left or they're losing a battle you know, they, there's, it's been a constant battle. You may have somebody here that is deciding to take the next step. They don't want to fight anymore. Maybe they're just deciding they don't want to fight anymore. We do have the emperor reversed, which is interesting because I, I was thinking the emperor. So we could be dealing with an Aries. It doesn't have to be. It could also be a father figure. Um, this is like giving up. I feel like we have somebody here that is giving up. There could have been, you know, somebody that deserts you in the time of need. Uh... 
We may even have some corruption here or criminal behavior or somebody that is above the law. This may be somebody that is a tyrant, you know, that doesn't want to give up control or is very, very controlling, you know, that likes to uh, make all the decisions and is unwilling to budge. Hierophant. Now, the, Her the Hierophant and the Emperor both represent a father. So it may have something to do with a father figure. If you're a masculine, it could be your energy. I don't know. But... The Hierophant is a higher power. It is God, okay? It is a godly energy. It's a channel or somebody has a direct connection to God. There's guidance here. Listen to your gut. Somebody's going to be guided. They're going to be guided to stop something because the Six of Wands is reversed right next to that Hierophant. It's like they're guided to stop fighting, guided to stop playing these games because the Six of Wands is either a battle or it's a competition, and it's in reverse. So they're being guided to stop playing these games or stop competing. Stop, 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 stop. Okay? There's no victory here. There's no reason to engage. Okay? Um, so I think things have been off. I think there's been some chaos. I think there's been, you know, trying to find balance. I feel like uh, there's been a lot of ups and downs. And I think that there's a need to make a choice. Somebody is about to make a choice. Now we have the devil. And it's interesting because we have this second little lineup. All three of them are majors. Okay, it's the emperor reversed, the hierophant, and the devil. So we have an abuse of power here. Um, we have heaven versus hell. You know, God versus the devil. Right together. I mean... And then right above that devil card is a two of two of pentacles. Now two of pentacles is about a choice. It's about a change. It's about, you know, what's it gonna be? What's it gonna be? This is lust. Okay? The the devil is lust. It's obsession and infatuation. Okay? Okay, it's crazy. Okay? The devil, okay? is infatuation and obsession and only lust. All right? The hair font is about commitment. Doesn't want commitment. So I think that you guys are infatuated with somebody that does not want commitment and you may not want to believe it. This person uh, may have deserted you, you know, or they are abusive or they're controlling, or they're already in a commitment, or they have some sort of addictions. We do have somebody here that has addictions. They may have a sexual addiction, a food addiction, or food issues. We may have somebody here that isn't, um, they're losing a battle because they can't manage their addictions. There's a higher power that is stepping in. Um, I feel like this is a very emotional time. Um, somebody is saying goodbye. They're saying goodbye. They don't want a commitment. This is somebody who is giving up. They do not want a commitment. They don't want to be a part of this anymore. There's, they are. They don't. It feels like they've made a choice. They've made that. They've made their choice. They've made their choice. Somebody has made their choice. Whew, I got chills. So there's something going on here. Now we got. But I was gonna say with the majors. The majors are universal. And there is guidance here. There's a higher power involved here that is guiding somebody out of a toxic, unhealthy situation that is only best based on lust, infatuation, and obsession. Okay? They're being guided. Now, there could be a father figure that has passed away that is protecting because there's protection here. Um... Or it could be, a you know, somebody could be dealing with a, maybe it's the father of their children that is leaving. There's some sort of protection here. There is some sort of protection here. Protecting from a toxic situation. We have an individual that is abusive. Okay, with the emperor reverse. This is somebody that is abusive. They don't really want responsibility or they don't have the skills to be in the position that they were given. If it's a father position, you know, or a leadership position, they shouldn't have been put in that position. They don't have the skills to be in that position. Um, two of cups reverse. That is a separation. Justice, karma, 
everything turning out as it should, a fair and just decision being made. There is a separation here from a partnership, and I don't know what the partnership is, okay? This is a fair and just decision that is being made. There is a separation here. There is no compatibility. There's a dis disharmony, okay? There's a, there is. This is a disconnection. This is uh, it could be losing a friendship, losing a partnership, divorce, you know, ending something, ending a partnership, a breakup, you know, unhappy couple. Uh, somebody is making a decision that is best for everybody involved, okay? This is the laws of karma. It is a card of consequences. Remember, with justice, there's two sides to every situation. So on one hand, somebody's getting something good. On the other, somebody's not. This is making a choice that is best for everybody involved. So there is going to be a separation of some sort. There could also be news of legalities that cause a separation. We have somebody here that is doing something. Um, with the, the justice card is right next to the devil. It's like they are... I feel like we have somebody here that is doing too much. They're biting off more than they can chew or they're just doing too much. They're going overboard. They're going overboard. Oh my God, five of swords in reverse on the bottom. I think we have some hostilities here. There could be a huge fight. You know, this is, this is somebody that wants to prove themselves. Fives are a need for change. There's a need for change. And there's going to be a change. Somebody is saying goodbye. There's ties that I think that are going to be severed with a toxic situation. We, we have somebody here. This is some sort of disgrace. It's, it is. It's a, it may be even a public disgrace. I don't know if there's some sort of pub publicity here. This is embarrassing. It's so, it is with the Six of Wands reversed. I feel like we have somebody here that is not really paying attention to what they're doing and, and they're going overboard and maybe the law steps in, a higher power steps in. There is authority stepping in. The Hierophant is the highest form of authority. And it's interesting. I said it for another reading. When I fight authority, authority always wins. So I feel like there's authority that is winning some sort of battle, okay? I thought if somebody's fighting authority and authority wins, you know? There is definitely authority here. Um, separation from a contract, two of cups reverse next to the justice. That is separation from a contract. It's, it is, it is. I feel like we, we with this five of swords reverse, this, I don't know, this is some sort of crime that is being exposed. Who you be beast? Anyhow, she went on my arm. There's some sort of crime that is being exposed. Um, I feel like there's there even could be a, a, an arrest or some sort of public humiliation here. Um, saying goodbye. Making a decision. Somebody is making a, it's a final decision. Guided, guided. Somebody is being guided. They're doing the right thing. This is the right thing because the Hierophant is the guidance and justice is kitty corner to it. That is the right thing. It's not, it's not about your feelings, okay? It's about the truth. It's about the facts. You know, if this is toxic, if it's unhealthy, if it's only lust, you know, it is what it is. I don't know, there could even be a death here with that casket card and the devil card. Absolutely, there could be. In this Eight of Cups, it's very emotional. Death is an ending, okay, it's an ending. It is, it is, we have the world card as well. And the justice is a final decision, so making a decision. There is some sort of karmic here. There's a karmic separation. Queen of Wands upright. So I feel like you need to hold your head up high. You're going to need to be strong. You're going to need to uh, be proud of who you are.
Whatever this decision is, I feel like this decision is going in your favor. You may not see it that way, but it is. I also feel like it has to do with something that you have done. Maybe you tried to force something because the Queen of Wands is very forceful, you know, very determined, you know, and sometimes, or in, and very optimistic, and sometimes when you try to force something, it backfires. Um... I feel as though you have a lot to be proud of. I feel like you have a lot to be proud of. I feel like you need to hold your head up high. I feel like you are in a very good position. You may not know it. I feel like you are protected. I feel like there's a higher power that is protecting you from somebody that is very unhealthy, that is toxic. I think there's ties that are going to be severed with this person. I feel like you're dealing with either a Capricorn, a Libra, or another Aries, or, or Aries Leo Sagittarius. Could also be dealing with a Taurus. Um, we also have Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, so it really doesn't matter. But this is a major completion of a cycle. I feel like we have a masculine energy that is taking action. And I know that it is a masculine energy that is severing ties. I feel like this masculine has made up their mind. And there's not one thing you can do to control the outcome. You're dealing with a player here, somebody that has been playing. They haven't, they've been unsure of what they want. They've now been guided. They've received the guidance that they need. They've received the intuitive guidance that they need. They, they are and they're following their heart. They're going to be expressing their feelings. Somebody's going to be expressing their feelings towards you and it, it does have to do with a separation. Everything is going to turn out as it should strength card reverse so this is i don't know if this is some sort of a depression you know this could be depression this is uh unhealthy we may have somebody here that is very unhealthy with the devil card forceful forceful energy this is trying to force something and it's interesting that i saw that i do see that i think that's trying to force something is causing somebody to leave I also feel like for some of you, you're dealing with an individual that doesn't respect others. This person is a coward. This person um, has no restraint. They can't restrain themselves. They don't, and maybe they don't respect you. You could be dealing with somebody that doesn't respect you, okay? They like to have control over you, you know? I feel like uh, Definitely some sort of decision is being made. Ties are going to be severed. I think that you've been tied to this situation for quite some time. I feel like the decision is definitely final. I feel like there's freedom here. There's freedom and there's no going back. Goodbye. Um, this isn't working out. Eight of coins reversed on the bottom. This isn't working out. Not putting in effort. Not trying hard enough. Not wanting to put effort in. Not wanting to do it. We have somebody here that isn't trying to uh, heal. Or they're not trying to change. They're unwilling to change. They're extremely, extremely, extremely stubborn. Extremely stubborn. There could be news of legalities here, you know, there could, somebody could be going to court, you know, and this all comes to an end and uh, you're forced, there's some sort of forced here. It feels like you're forced to accept the outcome and you may not like it. And the court could be karma, it could be karma. We have 888 eight, eight here, okay? 888 eight, eight is a time of change. Time is The time is now. It is time. The time is now when you see 888. Eight, eight. So the time is now. It's, and 8 is it's, it's time to move on. 
It's time to re move on. And I, there is somebody here that does not respect. They do not respect others' boundaries. And that's what's going on. That's why this separation is happening. Because there's a lack of respect for others' boundaries. The time is now. Go ahead. Go ahead. It's time to go. It's time to go. It's time to go. Somebody is going somewhere. They are. They're being divinely guided to do so. I feel like you're going to be deciding to uh, f refocus. I think you're breaking free from an unhealthy situation. I think that you're going to be making the decision to do so. I think that you've been abused by somebody or neglected or deserted by this person. I feel like you're going to need to be very, very, very strong and proud of who you are. Be proud of who you are. This person doesn't respect you. Okay, don't think that they respect you. I feel like there's somebody leaving your life. Or this cycle of your life is over and it's hard to accept. And I feel like you're going to be feeling, you know, we may even have somebody here that is, is extremely unhealthy. They're extremely unhealthy. We do have somebody here that is extremely unhealthy. And it feels like karma is stepping in with that justice card. Karma is stepping in and they are causing a separation. They're protecting somebody. There is some sort of protection here. We have an individual that hasn't been putting in effort. They haven't been trying hard enough. They haven't been interested in putting in the work. Now there's going to be a separation. This is somebody that is very, very forceful and stubborn and controlling and is unwilling to listen. One more card. Forced with that devil in the strength card reverse. That is force. There's some sort of force here. Forced, forced, forced to separate, forced. Mm -hmm. <whistles> Judgment reversed. So this is inability to see the truth, lack of lack of awareness, not listening. Not listening, not answering the higher call. Okay, this is poor health. It is poor health. It's guilty. This is bad karma. It is. There's somebody here that is getting some karma. They're getting some karma for their, for their previous decisions that they made. There could definitely be some news of legalities here um, with justice and judgment. Now they're both right. Sorry, I just put my hands in my chair. Um, making a decision. There's been a lack of... If somebody has made a poor judgment call, they may have lied in court. If they did, <laughs> karma never loses an address. Okay, there's some serious karma here. Um, somebody's health may be declining because of their karma. That could be their karmic, you know, retribution. Um, judgment reverse, poor judgment call, a need to move on from that bad choice. Uh... Lack of awareness, lack of acceptance, unable to accept, unable to release, unable to tell the truth. We got somebody here who has not been telling the truth. There's a lack of awakening here. It's like refusing to wake up, refusing to accept, you know. Um, there could be a trial here I, with the judge judgment reverse and justice that we could have like somebody here that is subject to trial. They could end up in trial. They could end up in court because of their actions, be, you know, trying to force something. I don't know. There's some sort of force here. This is the end of a trial. <laughs> justice and judgment right next to each other. It is. This trial period is over. Hmm. A choice is being made. You may also be receiving an offer from somebody else because I saw that with a new love entering your life. You may, maybe, maybe you, maybe it didn't work out with the other one for a reason. You know, I do believe that you are going to be receiving an offer from somebody that is looking for a relationship. Now, this could be somebody that abandoned you in the past, and I don't say that very often. Maybe this person was torn. You know, they were torn between you and another woman or another man. Now they've made their decision and they are going to be expressing their feelings towards you. 
Okay, so I don't know who that's for. I feel like you're going to be in a position where you have to make a choice. You have to make a choice. Is this what you want? Be I don't know where that ended and how far I got because I was looking down. But I think that you're probably going to have to make a judgment call. I feel like you're also going to be an approached by somebody. I think that you're going to be approached by somebody that may have abandoned you. They may have neglected you in some way. I feel like this person um, may have gotten in a fight. Maybe they've uh, been rejected by somebody else. They're coming towards you. Um, I think that you're going to have to choose wisely. I feel like you are going to. This is somebody that um, probably deserted you. They deserted you in your time of need. They may have been in a partnership with somebody else. Now they uh, are looking for some sort of attention. I think that you need to be careful. You're going to be put in a position. You to make a choice. You're going to have to make a choice. Um, someone going out of your life or the end of a situation. There is a need to release this toxic behavior, this toxic situation. There is. You need to master your emotions. You're going to need to be strong. You're going to need to be very strong and make the right decision. You have to make the right decision based on the facts. You can't base it on lust, okay? You're going to be put in a position where you have to make a decision, okay? You're dealing with somebody that doesn't really want commitment. They don't really want commitment, but I feel like they're coming towards you. They're coming towards you. They're coming towards you. This probably has to do with some sort of lesson because the world card is a lesson. You have a lesson to learn about your value, We do have a separation here. We do. You're going to be have to be strong. You're going to have. You may even be put in the spotlight. You may be put in the spotlight in some way. It's like there's something about reconciliation here. Somebody may want to reconcile with you, but it's only lust. It's only lust. I mean, we get the devil card and the judgment reverse. That's a poor judgment call. Okay, and it's only lust. This is an obsession of some sort. So I think that you need to be very, very, very careful with your decisions this week. Karma never loses an address. Lose it. I'm serious. We have karma here twice. Twice. So you've got to be careful with your decisions. Don't try to force things, you know. Make sure that um, you're being respected there could be somebody that is coming towards you that doesn't respect you they don't respect you and you this is somebody that is very cocky and smug that i don't know if this person has been rejected you know and they need your attention anyhow leo i think that you need to probably say goodbye to an individual that has no staying power by the Six of Wands reverse, this is a player, right? Six of Wands reverse <laughs> and the Two of Pentacles right together. That is a player. You got a player here. You definitely have a player here that has some sort of control over you because the Strength card is reversed right next to the Devil. This player has some sort of control over you and you need to find your mental strength to sever ties with this player. Because you have another opportunity here. I know that you do. Mm. I think things are going to be chaotic. I think things are going to be a little out of control and disorganized. I feel like there's a higher power that is guiding you, okay, out of a toxic situation. How you choose will determine your karma. Good luck.